That's a bummer. I was like halfway through and then I decided to check the camera and it had stopped. So I, I'm just gonna redo it all. It's fine. It's fine. Let's take this from the top. This is my first gear review. I'm gonna be reviewing bass drum beaters. Specifically talking about the low boy beaters, custom bass drum beater that I ordered a couple months ago against my Pearl Demon Drive stock pedal, uh, which I've been using for ever since I got these, probably four or five years ago. So the five things that I am going to be talking about as far as comparing these pedals, looks, price, sound, versatility, and feel. Let's talk about looks. It's just like nice to have a good looking product, and I think that Lowboy Beaters definitely does a good job of that. What I like about the looks of the Lowboy is that you can see the grain throughout. It kind of gives it a nice organic feel, and I love that the engraving is really well done. And it's just overall a very aesthetically pleasing pedal. Uh, not, nothing against the, the pearls, but there's something very cool. I just love the, the natural wood feel of things. Uh, the next thing is price. When you're looking between these two, without the engraving, it's about a $10 difference between these two beaters, which is not much to say, because I definitely notice a difference in quality. Between the feel of the two pedals, I'd say it's not a noticeable difference, which I think is a good thing. I think it's good for this, because these guys are a small company, and to have a beater that feels really awkward on the pedal, and it's difficult to get used to when you're coming from something like this, or a, one of the CW pedals, or any normal pedal, that's definitely a downside, but this felt completely natural, threw it on the kick drum, do it on the cage drum, threw it on my pedal and just went went with it and it fit in really nicely. So it feels good, feels just like any other pedal. Uh, as far as the versatility, uh, what I like about this, you know, this isn't like a completely new proprietary idea, but they do have the, you can use both ends of it and both ends work pretty seamlessly. It doesn't feel very awkward when you're switching around. And I know that's not a new feature for bass drum pedals, but uh, as opposed to like the DW where it's the plastic, the felt side, which I'm not a huge fan of those CW beaters, but that's a different topic. The most important thing is, of course, the sound of the beater on the kick drum, and I'll be rolling a couple clips for you to show you the side-by-side -side difference, but quickly just to kind of talk about them, I noticed that in comparison to most felt beaters or plastic beaters, these low boys definitely have a lot more clarity as far as the, the low mid and the high end, which is something I noticed a lot of felt beaters tend to struggle with. And for me, it's nice because, especially since I'm doing a lot of work in audio, it makes EQ the whole process afterwards easier because recording it and it's not like I'm having to carve out the boxiness and then try to make the kick drum shine. It just kind of comes naturally, which makes the process very nice for me. This side kills it for rock, metal, heavy, heavy, hard hitting genres. This is perfect. The perfect thwack, the perfect whack, and the perfect schmack. The smaller side of the low boy, it gives a lot more, uh, like, it helps the bass drum tone sing. If you're doing softer genres, this is definitely something that's useful. It's got a, a bit more of like a pea shooter kind of quality, uh, which is probably what you're looking for. You don't want something that's going to go bah! right in your face. So I'll play these clips for you. Take a listen. Let me know what you think down below and let me know if there's any other gear you want me to review or what other content you guys are looking for on the channel. And of course, thank you to Lowboy Beaters for making some awesome beaters. Definitely enjoy them. Of course, Thank you so much for watching, hope you enjoyed it, and don't forget to subscribe, like the video if you like these gear reviews, and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks again for watching.